I must say I got a chuckle out of a few memes that went around. Now, I don't usually, I'm not a meme person, mm -mm. but I saw a few of those Chinese spy balloon memes, and uh, I got a hearty laugh out of a few of those. <laughs> okay. The, the uh, autopilot from the movie Airplane. Yes. Yep. Got that one that said, uh, yeah, this is what the uh, pilot of the balloon looks like. And I chuckled and said that to my wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I like the one that said, the, uh, when you zoom in on it, it said wings. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been to Myrtle Beach. Yeah, yeah, I like that one, too. There's one on every block. Let's see. Uh, here's one that I got. It says, Chinese released first balloon photos from Missouri. And it's a... Uh, Really white trash couple throwing <laughs> bottles yeah. Yeah. up. <laughs> Angrily looking upward. Angrily looking up. Now, all of these are these are funny things. I funny. imagine if you're one of these, I, I'm assuming it's the Navy divers who mm -hmm. were looking into the, uh, the, the now shrinking debris field, right. having to sort through all the normal Myrtle Beach garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Can you> imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> I've probably left some garbage out there myself. <laughs> All but the white claw cans oh, have to mouth through. You're right. These, these boxes, the cigarettes come in really do <laughs> stay waterproof. Hang on, let's see. Balloon? No, no. <laughs> this is again the uh, natural light can. No, <laughs> Miller light. No. Reaction from Myrtle Beach as it was shot down. Here we go. Right there, buddy. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Now, we also have, Kristen will be the judge on this. You remember during the pandemic, we used to air a lot of parody songs. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And Kristen was the judge. Are they good or are they not? We have one today. Oh, about Chinese Balloon? Chinese Balloon. You be the, Only 40 seconds. All right. Oh, Sit that's, the, that's an advantage. I Short know. is good. Shorter is usually better when it comes to parody songs. <laughs> Aren't you glad we shot down the Chinese spy balloon? When it got over the ocean, we made sure it went kaboom. But they're still aware that they can see you in your home. Cause you've got TikTok installed on your phone. Yes, we blew away the Chinese spy balloon. All right, what's uh, give it a letter grade here? All right, well, the bass material mm -hmm. I love A plus the blues. That song. is one of the songs that reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, uh, it was one of my mom's favorite singing groups, The Fifth Dimension. It's great, mm -hmm. it's a great song. So it's a great bass. Mm -hmm. I think the lyrics are very clunky. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they, they put too really many... poor rhyming. Yeah. Are really trying to force um, too many syllables, too many syllables into lines where they don't belong. Mm -hmm. I, I'll give it a C plus. Uh, yeah, I'm, I thought I was afraid of that. And too many special effects in there too. We don't need that. We don't well, need the cruise missile sound. I know. I agree. Have we done anyone done uh, ninety nine Luft balloons? Oh, yet? it should be. That's the one. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. We take it upon ourselves to do something like that. You're right. As soon as I heard it, I thought I absolutely love the tune of it. And the singing is pretty yeah, good. The idea behind it's great, but the yeah. the, the lyrics. When, when somebody tries to put a four syllable word where it should be two syllables, it never works for me. You're not working hard enough. No, it never works for me when that happens. Mm -mm. You know, I used to work with a guy who would write really, really good, mm -hmm. you know, parody songs, yeah. like that. And he yeah. said, if you can't write it in ten minutes, twenty minutes, you forget it. Don't do it. Forget it's, it. It's not worth doing. Yeah. But so many times you try to force something into it. Mm -hmm. like that. Okay, so what do you grade this? I was just reading that. Uh, well, this is it's entertainment. Uh, Yellowstone. You know how um, popular Yellowstone is? Yeah. Uh, Big and I watch it. Mm -hmm. You're not watching, are you? you don't no, watch no, show. I don't look at it. Golly. Does B.B. Shea watch? I was going to ask him. He's on the phone. Oh, okay. You, you can't I see him. he partakes in that. I don't know that he does either. But I'm not only am I watching Yellowstone, I watched 1883, and I'm watching 1923. <sighs> What's next? They're 1977. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> the doing... disco years? <laughs> I heard they're doing another season. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's urban cowboy. It's the ur- it's it's the cowboy in Houston. The, the disco dance is coming to Montana. Yeah. What's that? A mechanical bull? Are you, <laughs> are, you, are you a Yellowstone fan, BB? Show? No, I'm not seasoned enough to appreciate okay. that. Okay. Well, you look a lot like Rip. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, perfectly round face. Yeah. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, is that livestock? You got your beard. You got your beard. Nerd. So how many? There's Yellowstone, and then there's two year shows. Yellowstone is current day. That's right. And then they went back to show the prequels of how the family. It's about the Dutton family. That's who okay. uh, Kevin Costner is. He's like the the king of it. Yeah. Well, they go back to 1883, and that's how the ranch was founded. Okay. Okay. And now, and that's Tim McGraw. And spoiler alert: a lot of bloodshed. There was some bloodshed. <laughs> Indians. Okay. Yeah. Indians. And uh, who's the uh, Tim McGraw? And then the really gravelly voiced guy. They're in 1883. Who am I thinking of? Great oh, voice. Sam Elliott? Sam Elliott. Great voice. Okay. Now we're in 1923. Okay. Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren. I see. Very good. And they're, the, the ranch is under attack and everything now. And that's that's out on um, Paramount+. Plus. Uh, well, here's what I read today. This is, the, uh, this is kind of a shocker. They're saying this could be the final season of Yellowstone because, even though it's incredibly popular... Because Kevin Costner is doing so many other projects. He's like, I just, I can't. This has opened the door to him directing some movies and getting back into other things. And he's like, I don't know that I have time to keep doing Yellowstone. Now, I think he may be holding out for money. Hmm. You know, when somebody says something like that, it's like, okay, you better really pay up if you want me to do more Yellowstone. I think Yellowstone's the most watched show on television right now. It could be. They're already talking about a spinoff with Matthew McConaughey as hmm. coming in to be part of that world, oh. to be part of the Yellowstone universe, if you will. Now, hmm. here's what I wanted Chris Dim to judge. Matthew McConaughey is currently doing the voice of Elvis in an animated series. It's strange. There's an animated Elvis There's series? An animated, it's just starting. It's, an, it's like he's like a... He's uh, a superhero? Yeah. He's either a superhero or some kind of crime detective, but it's Elvis. Yeah, he's like a huh. Batman. It's really odd, yeah. But McConaughey does the voice, and I don't think he sounds like Elvis. You know, but here it is. Listen, what do you give on a letter grade here of Matthew McConaughey doing Elvis? Every once in a while, man accomplishes the impossible. All it takes is someone with a dream. Because when a man dreams, <laughs> he can change the world. So, you think he's ready? Your training starts now. Training? Keep an eye on Elvis for me. Will do. How does this pen work? That might just be a really nice pen. <laughs> yep, just a pen. That's McConaughey. Has El- he sounds like McConaughey to me? Yeah, it's a little too much Texas. Yeah, mm-hmm. not exactly. Mississippi. Exactly. He's not. He doesn't quite have Elvis. But though. you know, when when you're looking, if it's, they're doing an animated Elvis, right? You know, the the images go a long way. Yeah, and it does look good. It's like 70s. <laughs> it's like with the jumpsuits. Yeah. Jumpsuit Elvis? Yeah, from what I've seen, it's all jumpsuit. Now, it's not the worst Elvis impression I've ever heard. They should have called me. <laughs> <laughs> My line's always open. <laughs> See if I got any messages. <laughs> Dave Aiken did an Elvis one. McConaughey's not going to last. No, he's not going to last. Either. He's going to move on, just like Kevin Costner. He's got Yellowstones to do. Costner's moving on from Yellowstone. He'll move on from Elvis into Yellowstone. No call. <laughs> Get Dave Aiken, who did the best Elvis impression you'll, you'll ever hear. And he was a guy's guy. Elvis was. I mean, if you watch some of those documentaries, you know, he'll climb in the back of his limo and, man, did you see that chick, man? Remember that, remember that chick? We Remember, remember those, two chicks in, uh, mm-hmm. those two chicks in Tulsa? You do a terrible Elvis impression. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get what you said. <laughs> That's 10 seconds of Elvis. It's just, it's lived on for years. They're calling. Yeah. They're good. They'll be calling. <laughs> They're going to need somebody. Are they calling? Yeah, they should. We should print up shirts to say two chicks in Tulsa. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely agree. Of course we should. Yeah. We could put that, put that in the two guys named Chris store That's and right. sell out Look, instantly. Two chicks in Tulsa. <laughs> Dave dressed his Elvis on there. Yep. Put, right. put some sideburns on Dave. Yep. Yes. That's what that's We're what missing we the boat. Have. Oh, I just got a text from my friend who is a state trooper, and he said, 78, now 55. I'm so disappointed <laughs> state in State trooper? 
Yeah, I know a guy that goes to the gym with me, and he's a state trooper. And that, isn't that who pulled you over, a state yeah, officer? Yeah, state, state trooper pulled me over. Yeah. You, you should think you'd have an in. I, well, that's I almost said, I know Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said, Justin but I, who? I'm in a different county, and I've got, I said, I've got him on my phone right here. It's Look, Justin. You want to talk to him? <laughs> Justin, talk to you. And uh, he said, 78, now 55. Because mm. I'm always talking to him. I'm always saying, man, I bet you see a lot in your job. All these crazy people out there, you have no idea. Bunch of dumbasses yeah. speeding up mountains. <laughs> these weak excuses. I know. Blubbering parents. I know. And then he just he just texted me and said, I am so shocked. 78, not 50. How fast were you going down the mountain on the way back home? Well, it would have been faster. At that point, I... Were you I, riding the brake? I ride the brake. Yeah. And I told my son, I said, you taking a look at this? I'm riding the brake here. And he said, that would go, you know, of course, that would mean more if you hadn't gotten a ticket five hours ago. <laughs> Can't shake it with children, you know. No. Children, they're still laughing about it.